Welcome to another episode of this series, 29 things that you need to know to scale your business past a million pounds in the next 12 months. This week, we are going to be talking about the avatar that you need to attract into your business. Last week, we spoke about the need to clarify what services you offer within your business. And today, it's really important that we understand who the avatar is that we want to attract. I know from personal experience that I've tried to be everything to everybody, thinking that the more products and services that we deliver, the more people we're going to attract, but actually that works against you. The more niche you can get with a service or an offering, the more you will attract and ultimately the more money you will make. It doesn't make sense in your head when you're starting out because surely you think, well, the bigger the pool is to fish in, then the more money I can make. But actually, the smaller the pool you can fish in, the more you can actually charge and therefore the more you can make. And typically you can do it with less work as well. So in our game, the Airbnb industry, then our avatar, we pretty much have two or three different types of avatar that we chase dependent on the location. For example, in Dubai, we have two types of avatar. We have our tourists who will stay for typically five to seven days, sometimes around two weeks. And they tend to fluctuate around November till maybe March. They come and go. Obviously, we have some in the summer, but the peak season seems to be from sort of November to March. And then we have the expat community. So these are the people that are moving over to the country. They're relocating and they're testing the water whether they want to live in the country or not, whether their job will work out. So they will take a short term rental in the in between stage between getting their visa processed, moving there and just finding their feet on the ground. That works very well for us. In the UK, our avatar across the majority of our portfolio is the contractor market. So we're looking for the traveling tradesmen. They typically stay from one week to three months and they will you know, pay decent money, they pay per bed and it works very well for us because it means less cleans, less hassle, one company to deal with and in the main, it is much more appealing than the weekenders. You know, don't get me wrong, I love the weekenders as well. They do help and as long as you've got a good system and process in place, you can control the noise, you can control the disruption and you can limit the maintenance. But in the main, the contractors are definitely where we focus our attention. That's where the marketing activity goes and that is what we're trying to get out. And I think as a business, once you get clear on exactly who your avatar is, you can then wrap your whole entire marketing structure around talking to that avatar. You need to speak their language. You need to make sure that whenever they're scrolling, whenever they're looking on a website, whenever they're typing into Google, that you are there. Those keywords that your avatar will be typing in, you come at the top, you know, so contractor stays, Newcastle or expat relocation, Dubai. You know, they're the type of things that we want to be coming at the top because that's what we then specialize in. So when they then land on your website or they land on your Facebook page or wherever, they can see that specifically you serve the exact need that they and the exact problem that they're looking to solve. And therefore, the chances of them booking with yourself are a lot higher than if you were to just be a, hey, we serve everybody from, you know, families to this, to, you know, contractors, to expats, to blah, 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 and kind of being the person that wants to offer everything to everyone, they might not find that as specific as someone who says, you serve my needs. You know, you hear the word avatar all the time in marketing and you'll hear, you know, write down what they're thinking, write down where they hang out, write down, um, you know, what language they speak in terms of the slang and the communication and the sort of industry speak. When you figure all that out and then you put it into your web copy, you put it into your marketing copy, you put it into your paid advert copy, you will see your conversions increase dramatically, which ultimately means you will end up with more money as well because you can reduce your costs, you can get longer bookings, you get more repeat bookings from these type of avatars and ultimately they drive the majority of your profit through your business and help your businesses make more money. As always, don't forget that this is sponsored by IPRAC and if you haven't already checked it out we are onboarding the next round of franchisees within uh, the business we are about to launch in the US which I'm super excited for and we would welcome any country from anywhere in the world to also join the party and help us scale the Luke Stays brand uh, worldwide and try to reach as many guests as we possibly can until next time take care